Hello and welcome back to City Bus Manager. And if you want to know if this game was made by people who drive buses, look at this bus approach! And off he goes. Yes, all bus drivers know, public bus drivers know. Gas and brake pedal are just on off switches. There's nothing in between. It's either all of one or all of the other. Nothing in between. Proves it there. Anyway, welcome back to Steve & Co. The company that we started in our last in our last um, video and here it is what we've got so far we've got our small little office building a small little maintenance district and we have a few buses we have quite a few that are out at the moment and I think we will start I don't think these pieces have arrived yet no they've not arrived yet so at 9 in the morning we can get all of those bits sorted what I will do what I have realized is this gap here it's perfect for fitting in a paint station, paint station, a paint shop. So, see, yep, so he can pop in there. Lovely jubbly. And we can now send this wee bus to the paint shop to get painted up. So if we just turn around, he should be on his way. We've got the driver coming up. We'll speed things up a little bit. Two, actually we'll go for three. There we go. Quick. And over comes, whoop, over comes the driver. And in they go. And now what I'm gonna do with this one, if we made our preset template or color for what we want our buses, our livery, we're going to browse local templates. And these are two that I did for my practice one. And then we'll do our Citro Green, which is what we have for our last to apply that. And there it is, in all its lovely, lovely glory. We've got a nice lime green and a few stars on the back. Perfect, classy. Ooh, and that and a puff of green smoke. Off it goes. Oh wow, look at this, our servant's getting busy. Hoi, get out from behind the get out from behind the counter, that's not that's not your space. I think what we need is some more service staff. So we'll come hire another service employee. Oh, poor guy is stressed. We need to have more lockers. So we'll get that started. There's in corridor lockers. We'll just put a run of lockers down this side. Boom, boom, boom. Lovely, lovely, lovely. And we can go back to staff. Well, look at that. The service center shut an hour ago. We still got all of these people in here. Bet they're not very happy. Let's get another guy here. Who do we want? I think, well, you're friendly and you're reliable. We will take you. You're fairly cheap. We'll go for you too. Uh, and off additional office space is required. Okay, we'll see what's going on in there. So research. I suppose that is true. We better get our researcher working. So I'll start this research. Do solo buses. Should be a bit bigger, like the midi buses. Oh, look at that. It's 8 o'clock and he's finally cleared it out. The poor guy can now have a bit of a rest. Probably requires us to having another service desk in here. Just pop in one of those. There we go. So our three guys can all work nice and fast. Office. I think this office will probably only be temporary, but we'll just put a down there. That'll make it a bit bigger. And we will decorate this up. But while we're at it, you need a clean by the look of it. Man, you're nearly the level of a stagecoach bus. They're always pretty scuzzy. So yeah, we'll get that sorted out. And now we'll see if we can move these, move any of these chairs. Oh, yeah, there we go. Come, in, come here, chair. Yeah, got you. Get out of the chair. There we go. We'll move that a bit closer. And we will pop in a few other bits and pieces in here. Make it a nice place to be. So, stay in office, add in a window there, 
window there. Window there. Then we've got have another standing lamp over here. With a big plant pot next to it. And a shelf. Oh, maybe not. The shelf will fit in over there. We've got something to read. Oh, they seem to be sticking a long way out from the wall. But, oh well, we'll leave it there for now. Oh, look at that. You're also... Sm um, steaming green. It's been a messy day for everyone there. So we'll get that one cleaned up. These are all looking good, because I think they only popped out for a short point. For a short point? For a short amount of time. So we'll... We'll wash and we'll fuel these two. There we go. And when you're done, we'll swap them over. Then we will speed through till tomorrow. Whoop, there we go. So you're going for clean. You'll go for fuel. There we go. And we'll now time jump till tomorrow. There's not much more to do here. So time jumping. Whoop. There we go. 4.17 in the morning. It's time to get going. Let's allocate these days shift. So STD, so that's for St. David's train station. I'm going to sign one of those buses to it. And H to our hospital. You can take that one. We're going to assign another St. David's train station. Pop it on there. And then we have another H, which you will take. Okay, so we have two buses left over. How many bus drivers do we have? Only got four bus drivers, but we have six buses. We probably need a few more of these guys, don't we? So we'll take you, Karna Booth. You seem pretty friendly and reliable. You're hired. Uh, and Gilbertine Thiel. You are also friendly and reliable. We'll take you. Okay, we've now maxed out our office again so that will need to grow oh we have a new inbox message over here from Alanora Pearl hi boss I'm sure you have more important things to do right now but I want to briefly inform you that I've run out of tasks look just enjoy relaxing in our nice office we have for you it's fine we'll sort that out shortly and then what's going on down here let's see what people are thinking of Stephen Co our ratings not very good it's like the average place on um Deliveroo or on Just Eat. Nice low score there. My problem was solved thanks to the service centre, but the employees were unfriendly. Well, the poor guy was probably rushed off his feet. You, you just could give me a two star rating. You give me a one star. I can only advise you against visiting the service centre. I have never stood somewhere so long in, in my entire life. Yeah, that wasn't great. I apologise for that. The H bus has been a bit more crowded than normal lately. Well, I'm glad everyone's using it. Anyway, but while we're talking about that, let's increase our network. So what I was thinking here, is that I'd have to build my next service. We're going to come in up over here. So once again, we are still waiting on 25 crownies, so we will build our own route. So we're starting at Cheek Street, as all our services do. This is where the bus station is. Actually, the bus station is just in like this loop here. Used to be here, like this building here, but they moved it to a smaller one over here because that's future proof and going down inside. And we will take you to go to Power Street Stop 16. And then you're going to come round up here through Portland House, Bracknell Road. We're not going to do that way, well, we know we are going to do that one. To Hoopen Lane. This one will send it round there. Don't want to do it. So Devonshire Place, Mayfield Avenue. Sylvan Road, and then we're going to come up Rose Barn, so Rose Barn Crescent, uh, Yew Tree Close, um, Ald Aldrin Road, Rose Barn Avenue, Pennsylvania Road, this will be my timing point, the first Pennsylvania Road, the Acorns, Pennsylvania Road again, Florida Drive, Plassey Close, Limit Close, Queensland Drive, Shepherd's Road, Aldrin's Road again, Armstrong Avenue, 
Rose Barn Lane, and now we're going to follow back having done our loop up here. So, all the way back. Past the first and last. There we go. Mayfield, Devonshire Place. No, not that one. Oh, no, you had that. Hoopen Lane, Bracknell Road. And you don't do Bracknell Road twice. And then this bit of road here is one way, it won't let us go down. So we're going to turn down York Road down here, and then we're going to do something that we can't do in real life, but the game will allow us to do, and turn into Sidwell Street. Stop there, and then back round to Cheek Street, and we'll complete the loop. Route 3, I will call this Penn, because it goes up to Pennsylvania Road, and we'll leave it at that nice poo brown, it's very fetching. We'll do half hour services, and we'll do a 20 minutes break there. And if we come in here, we look for our first Pennsylvania Road, which is there. How much time do we have? So, 28. We've got loads of time. The Pennsylvania Road, that's the first one there. We'll give it eight minutes waiting. So it should be back on time. Nice. And then we'll have um, 14 minutes or whatever it is. No longer than that. It's quite a while waiting down the bottom here. And back around. We'll extend that out to um, 9 in the evening. So we'll just confirm that one. Lovely. So we now need to assign some more shifts. So Gilbert Thiel, you can take this bus. And unfortunately this service is just going to have to wait until we have our part. There are no buses available for it. I suppose while we're waiting, might as well paint this bus. Why not? Although I know this fire out the back will just put soot all up the back of it. It's not ideal. But thankfully that's not yet been programmed into the game soot damage. There we go. Apply template. Apply. Boom. And all we have to do now is we're going to wait for 9 o'clock. And hope that that's all good. I'm going to say we're going to wait for 9 o'clock. We are going to cancel this one. There's no point keeping it waiting. Sorry, everyone. We're going to have to see what this ratings review from today is. Just a two-star. Doesn't say much. But the one before, I like. I ride the bus every day, and they are always clean and well-maintained. Yes, I'm doing better than Stagecoach Uconi operating next to Oh, they don't like my driving. They don't like our driving style. Yep. That's the standard public bus for you, isn't it? Absolute rubbish. So as we watch here, we can just see... Oh, we've got the wait time. Zero minutes. That is good. Those three guys are working hard. In they all come. Nice. Good, good, good. No wait times. I wasn't going to move this room over here somewhere, and then we could... um expand this office out over here, get more ticket desks in. But that all seems good, it seems to be looking after itself. And here comes our nice and gently delivered parcels. It's like watching Amazon do their deliveries. Quickly run, chuck them out, we haven't got time to wait. So we'll now go and repair. We should have the stuff in there, so we'll replace those two. And these two we will repair too. Come on, it should all be in there now. Maybe we have to try that again. All the boxes are in. Send you to repair. Repair, you can do it. And tyres. Send to repair. Okay, we've just completed another one. Completed 40 tours. It's got us one more. One more um, thing, and we now have our 25. Do you need any work? We'll get our cleaner on you. But that's nothing important right now. But what we do need is a couple more parking bays. So we'll put a few more mediums in. There we go. Three more. And now we're going to get by a few more buses and hope that they will fit in nice. Interesting that those ones 
these ones are all slightly different colours of green. You'd have thought they'd all been the same. Oh well. So we will assign that H service onto you and marketplace. We will look for some more buses. So the intercity LE is a slightly bigger, well, I say slightly bigger, it's massively bigger. But we're going to carry on using our Citros for the moment. God, you're cheap. And I'm not even going to offer you that much. I'm going to offer you 5,800. Has accepted my offer. Nice. And then we'll do another one over here. We will see what we can go for you. 7,300 7, has accepted my offer. Nice, we need to assign some shifts quickly. So our St. David station can take you, send you to be repaired. So we do brakes, we do oil, and we'll do wipers. We'll start that repair. Is there anything parked up over here? No, not yet, which is a bit uh, perplexing. We've got a few routes to um, assign, but we need to get our buses fixed up quickly so you're waiting on that service we've got two minutes before we start having problems with you while this bus is being repaired and patched up actually you're nearly ready to go for the repair office you're basically working so we're going to assign some shifts you are operational, ready to go out. So we're going to send you like that. We're cleaning the inside. You need some fuel. We're going to assign this Pennsylvania. So he is operational. You can take that one. Would have been nice to have had the chance to clean it. We're going to clean you before we send out the next Pennsylvania service. We probably need some more staff while we're at it. Yeah, we've got eight buses. Oh, we need to expand the office, don't we? Yes. So. Corridor. Mm-hmm. To rotate you around. There we go. And then we'll pop a small office space in here. We need a door to get into it. And we'll just have a quick shimmy round of some of these lockers. There we go. So we need to get some more stuff because the poor drivers are probably struggling right now. There's a lot popped on them. Actually, most of them are doing all right. So we will hire a couple more. You look good, very reliable. We'll take you and we'll take you. So if we come off that and we try and assign that one before it gets too late, we'll send you out on that hospital run. Clean. Oh, I need to get another cleaner, don't we? With all these buses. What's this one saying? Super timetable for the pen. That's really offered. That's really an offer that makes public transport attractive. Thank you very much. I was pleased with that route too, and I'm glad you are, you are liking it. See if we can get a bit more research going for some more fuel efficient buses. And then, where's that door? Can we move the door from where it is here? Will it fit in there? There we go. It's a very plain office they have there. I will decorate that up in a bit. But what we have now is we have over 25. If we come back over here to make another route, we can take one of, we can take this extra arena tour. So this needs to connect to extra arena connect to at least one train station Monday to Sunday uh, from 4.04 until 11.04 every 60 minutes so we'll accept that accept so it was zoomed in on extra arena already 
but we're going to start as always over at Cheek Street because we are central hub so we will start there then we're going to come around to Paris Street we're going to come along Sidwell Street up this one onto St James's Road Edinsley Road then we're going to do the Lilacs Stoke Arms Margaret Road Morrisons Calthorpe Road Beacon East Shops No, we're not going to stop there because it's looping back round so we'll place that to stop there which is Northbrook Close Pinewood Lane and then we're going to come down past St James's School the arena's attached and we have all requirements met so we're then going to I'm tempted to come into here for a turn around when I say I tempted we're going to come down here up to the end at Bernadette Close and then back out so coming back to Exeter Arena there we go St James's that one Northbrook Close no we can get rid of it then there we go that's more like it a lot of stops on this one we might have to get a bigger bus for it but for now I think this is looking good I'm going to stop at the Odeon Cinema for a bonus one and then we'll just come straight round to Cheek Street and this one does Arena and then it does, oh what was it called again Bernadette wasn't it so it'll be Ber so it'll be B E no B C for Bernadette Close Arena A R so the B C A R purple line nice there we go I can't adjust anything here so we go into advanced setting and we will come down and find Bernadette close extra arena Bernadette close so where was it Bernadette close there we go so the th currently 31 minute circuit we'll add 10 minutes waiting here happy days I think it was over 10 in the end and we can't change anything with that so that is all good we will confirm that route and we will now have to assign a bus to that route we could pop you out on it It'd be nice to have had a branded bus for our first one but we will be chucking these through the cleaners for now and while we're waiting we will wash you Okay, we'll start doing some research. We're going to research another solo bus, but we have the, the um, cups for it. We'll do some better food for our employees. There we go. And we'll do our company ratings details. So what I'm going to do now is going to check up how we are doing. So we are making quite a bit of money today, actually. I know it's near the end, but that's £7,000 profit. That's like a whole bus that I could buy when I offer a low ball price on a knackered old piece of shit in the um, in the marketplace. A lot better than the day before. Getting some good revenue, some good ticket sales I think up here. Ooh, actually sold quite a few week tickets and a lot of day tickets. Beginning to make more sense I think for people doing that research company ratings that's all being done nice so let's see what needs to be happened with our bus you clearly need to be washed you need to clean okay we need some more cleaners don't we so let's have a look at cleaners Dean Ross you're quite low stress at the moment but we're going to give you Teller as an assistant 
And why not? Let's see if there's another cheap person who's reliable. So you're 1240 Ian, or we could have 1280 for Kilia. Now we'll take you, Ian. Ian, happy days. We need to place some more lockers, but that's fine. Let's get these buses cleaned. Oh, you need to go get a wash. Sweet. There we go. Sorted. So as this day draws to a close, let's see what the last three people were saying about our company. Just gave it five stars. Happy days. The bus drivers were all very friendly and helpful. Then why not five stars? And then I regularly ride Stephen Co. buses and they and have absolutely no complaints about the cleaning. They are always tidy. There's no visible dirt or broken seats. Well, it's not always that way, but we can... But yeah... We try our best. You've just come back in. We'll give you a clean. We'll give you a clean. And then I think we'll time jump through to tomorrow in just a moment. There we go. Time jumping. And at 4.17 we can start today's service. So let's see. Let's start off by finding this route up to the Pennsylvania. This route to the train station. This one can go out to the hospital. You're also going into Pennsylvania. You're a train station service. And you're a hospital service. Shit, probably should have got you. We'll quickly rush you out for fueling before you go. You'll get an outside wash. You need some. No, you don't need repairs yet. But you do need a paint job. So let's see what messages we've got here in our inbox from a bus driver. Okay, he's really satisfied with the work. Straight to the point, and I like it. Good satisfaction. Got two more reviews already. A nice low one, don't know why. And Corey Tiedman just gives it two stars. Both pretty low. So let me see. Let's see how our buses were doing yesterday. So we ran three of these extra arena ones. Nice capacity, though that was fine. See how the H's are doing. So, we have a few very full ones at sort of rush hour time. Yeah, and then that's rush hour again. So, if we edit timetable on this one, okay, we'll do your paint job first, I suppose. Come on, take that one and we'll apply. Good, so we'll go back to our... Come on. So we're going to get back and have a look at our timetable for the H. And we're going to probably have to increase... Do we do 15 minutes there? That might help. I mean, it was busy. We'll go to a 10 minutes at rush hour, why not? Which means we need to get another bus for that. But we will confirm and hopefully that will help get that nice and sorted out. So we'll confirm there. See how Pennsylvania is doing. That's a very busy service again. So we'll edit your timetable to give you every 15 minutes. So we need two more buses at the moment. And then how is the St. David station doing? Yeah, that's picking up as we come into rush hour, isn't it? So what are you currently on? We do have 15 minutes for your St. David's run. So we need three more buses. So we need to build some more street coming out this way. And we'll just start plonking in some of these and we will buy oh no I always do that I always click on the buses not on the marketplace let's have a look what second handers we have so we have a nice cheap cheapish one here we will offer eight and a half for you has accepted the offer and we have another one here in very poor condition 
it would offer seven and a half for you. Take that one, why not? Oh, it's been rejected. We'll send you for cleaning while we think about it. Okay, we'll offer you, put an offer in. So close that for a second. They want eight, I will offer seven. There we go. Let's see how these get on. You need to wash and you need some repairs. And we need to get lots of pieces, bits and pieces in. So we have a service employee. Nice that everything's going so well at the moment. Well, that is good to hear. We need some more replacement parts. I will stock up on that engine. We're going to get for three of everything now. So one of you, three of you, two here, one there, three here, three here, three here, and three here. We'll get that delivered. So those will probably get sent in tomorrow. We will fuel, we will paint, we will clean. And you need some repairs. What do you need? Tires. We don't have any any tires. You're going to have to wait for tomorrow. Browse local template. My nice green one. On he goes. While we're at it, we'll get you ready for your repairs tomorrow. We will wash. What do you need? You're all good to go. We will send you for your router. There we go. Complaining about ticket price, complaining, complaining about cancelled tours. Yeah, so those three seem to be doing very well at the moment. Okay, so we need to assign an H. You are operational. You will be fueled. Oh, you can get fueled next. There's no gas station there. There we go. You can go for fueling. You can be go get painted in a second. And we will assign. We're going to assign some routes quickly. Cool. There we go, sent to get painted. I wonder how everything is getting on with our buses in service. So our staying very steady, some sad people, some mixed people and some very happy people. So let's see how we're getting on with our network. Yep waiting out over there. Nothing will be on you, I think, because you're only running in the evening. It's busy going out towards the hospital as usual. Okay, I need to assign that one for our, for the run, for the run out to the arena. You seem operational, you can go onto there. One of our new buses. So you need some cleaning up here. Yeah, get them all clean, and then we will assign some buses. So you got a flat tire, uh, flat tire, and I can't use you. You're you're fine. Let me do Pennsylvania service. Can't take you. Come on. So these two are now operational, which is good because I need them both back out on the road. You were going out soon, but we're going to send the cleaners before they get here. 
So let's check up on our routes again and see how these are getting on. So yeah, Kyosu, you're still waiting. You are still very heavily loaded through a lot of the day. It's probably time that I start buying bigger buses. Yeah, Pennsylvania is struggling. And this one is also struggling. So if we come out of that lot, let's have a look what buses we have in our fleet. Well, let's have a look and see what buses we could add to our fleet. So we have an Urbany 12, which has 85 passengers, 39 seats, or an Intercity LE, which is 94 passengers, 49 seats. It'd be nice to get a bit more information about running costs, if those, those are things. Well, but here come some more deliveries, gently thrown down again. I thought they came at nine. So those can get brought in. Hopefully we can start getting all our ready, buses ready. So let's see what Gilbertine Steele are saying. Hello, I just want to say that I'm extremely happy with the, with the work here. I am pleased to work for the company and I hope to work for many more years. That's just what I want to hear. Thank you very much, Gilbertine. So as they bring the boxes in, yep, nothing. That's another nice review. Got a five star over here. You need a clean. You need a clean. And you need your tire fixing. And that's about it, I think. So we will do tire. I'll do V belt while we're at it. So we'll send for repairs. And I'm just going to go get another set of tyres another set of V-belts, we'll buy those so that we can maintain our stash now in here we built this second office which looks a little bit sparse at the moment so we'll try and make that a little bit more inviting put some windows in so they can come and watch the comings and goings of all of our buses Pop in some nice black chairs. Boom, boom, boom. Plenty of relaxing to be had in here. And we pop in some tables. Plant pot. There we go. Yeah, that will make everyone feel really nice just being there. Some lamps in the corner for when it gets dark. Pop a trash can in down there. Have a vending machine in case people get peckish. You can go there and we will pop in a shelf for reading material at this end. There we go. That is a nice little office setup I think we've got in there. Pop in a row of chairs down this side too, why not? We're going to have a lot of staff using it. Might as well make them happy. Do you need anything? We're going to send you for some fuel. You will need to go for a wash. You need fuel. And you need a bus wash when it's available. Okay, so we have another day drawing to the close at the moment. And it's all coming along nicely we have expanded our network we are making some decent money you made some decent coin today we can probably start going for some bigger buses tomorrow we've got our review our ratings going up we have people well some people are some people are outraged at my infrequent services but every half an hour it's what you get at that the moment next in most places uh Giddle free uh, he's happy to be work. Wait, I'm glad we have so many orders, but there are too few workers for that. Yeah, he's probably getting quite stressed doing all the maintenance for our fleet at the moment, particularly considering I'm buying some absolute clunkers. But unfortunately for him, I don't see his workload diminishing anytime soon, as my plan on buying absolute knackered old Rex is not going to be changing. And in the next episode, I plan on buying a whole bunch more, but bigger buses. So he might have something new and exciting to play on. I'm just going to speed through to the end as we 
keep tidying up and sending all these buses to get cleaned and washed and stuff. We don't have to do it at the normal slow pace. So yeah, it's been a successful episode. We've got two new routes in. We've got the pen going up around Pennsylvania. It's been served well. And we have a commissioned route for the council, the Bakar, the BCAR to the arena. So yeah, in the next one, we plan on getting some larger buses and just continuing to expand. Anyway, until then, I hope you've enjoyed this one. And I'll see you again in the next episode. Until then, ciao.